Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. If it's trending, it's here now. now. This now. is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. All right, so UConn is the top trending topic, uh, defeating uh, Purdue uh, last night in the NCAA, NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. Mecon. So, no, 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 no. No, UConn. UConn. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a late game, but a lot of people are discussing it. Um, they're back-to-back champions. That hasn't been done in a while. So. The extremely rare. The women's UConn team, they went, didn't they win like back to back for years? For years? They, yeah, they won several years in a row. Yeah. It's just a powerhouse of basketball talent. Up yeah, there. It really is. But that's six men's national championships total for UConn. It's crazy. If you don't think of them in that way, you're like, oh, well, they've won a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just Connecticut people, though. <laughs> there is that. Mm-hmm. Somebody was making the point, they were like, you know, I didn't grow up with a professional sports team. So, like, you know, it was all about. UConn, like you know, they're they're wearing the shirts sure. from the early ages. So, yeah, that's what they that's what they get excited about. Uh, Eclipse twenty twenty four is uh, right on top of that. A lot of people went to go see the Eclipse uh, yesterday. That was um, underwhelming. <laughs> Again, well, when you've seen the whole thing before, when you have the full Eclipse experience, it's like it doesn't matter. And I was trying to explain to my wife yesterday. She gets we let's go outside and look at it. I said that's it. you're looking at it. That's it. Well, it's uh, it's going to get worse. Not really. And then we got out there and she goes, I didn't understand. I thought it was going to be dark. It's like, yeah, we're not in the path of totality where you're missing out on the whole thing. Yeah. I saw people but in Texas traveled to, to see it and then it was cloudy when it came time. Yeah. yeah. But what is the big deal anyway? I mean, what was the big deal? I didn't get it in 2017. I mean, we we were all involved in it. All radio shows and stations were doing promotions about it and all that stuff. We get over there. And we just hang out in a parking lot in Columbia, South Carolina, which is where you could see it the best. Yeah. And like lasted two minutes, maybe something like that. And then we were stuck in traffic for five hours. It's just awesome, though, to be in the path of totality is like a one literally a once in a lifetime thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Because like even though it happened yesterday, it, it was a whole different path of totality. The fact that oh, it's going to go completely dark, yeah, at three o'clock in the afternoon. Like they were showing pictures I saw of the Cleveland Indians game yesterday, and it looked like a night game at uh, at you know whatever it was three o five or something. It was com- that lights were like it's it's completely dark. It's just kind of a cool experience because that never yeah. happens, to, but probably not even once in everybody's lifetime. Yeah, yeah, I get that it's yeah. rare, but it's still not, it's just boring. To me, <laughs> to me, it's pretty fun. I don't like space and stuff. Yeah. That, that traffic sucked afterwards, but it was, but it was Traffic's pretty good. fun. Yeah, uh, WrestleMania is still trending from uh, over the weekend, and the reports are out that Jason Kelsey, uh, Travis Kelsey's yeah. brother, you know, made such an impact that WWE wants him to do more uh, with them. Obviously, he yeah. brings a lot of eyeballs. And he was involved on Saturday night. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think that would that's a, probably a good move for Jason Kelsey. He already looks the part. So uh, those are just a few things <laughs> that are now trending. Um, it is an age-old battle. Wife versus mother-in-law with husband caught in the middle. But today's group therapy takes it next level. Wait until you hear what mother-in-law did. Just trying to help. It's not good. I don't think. Next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. We're here with our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies, and he's ready to save you some money, get you some money with an instant 
equity line of credit. How does that work, Richard? Best product ever. Oh, we, we take a little bit of your information. Uh, we find out if you get an offer or not. If you get an offer, you can decide what you want to do. Get your money four days later. Pay off credit cards. Do home improvements. I've done it. Yeah. It's super simple. And again, start to finish, four days, you get your money. Homewithrichard.com is where you get the process started. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. It's Tuesday. The doctors are in. This, this is group therapy on the Ace and TJ Show. The Ace and TJ Show. It's a historic battle. Wife versus mother-in-law. Heard about it all through the ages. Um, but here we go. Taking it next level. Um... This lady said, keep me anonymous. My mother-in-law has been staying in our guest room to help me with my first newborn baby. Um, she has been very helpful and wants to really be hands-on. I get it. This is her first grandkid. But there are times when I feel like she is overstepping her bounds and getting in my lane. I tell my husband, and he tries to nudge his mother back. But I finally lost it. When I walked into the living room after my nap yesterday to find my mother-in-law doing skin-to-skin -skin with my baby. She was laying under a blanket with the baby. The baby was naked and she was shirtless. If you don't know, skin to skin helps bond a mother to the baby. It comforts them and can also help boost a mother's milk supply. When I saw this, I lost it. I was so loud. I made the baby cry, but I was so angry. I took the baby and told her that she was to never do that again. My mother-in-law was upset with my reaction and ran to her son, who is now mad at me. My husband tried to play like he understood my emotions, but then thought that it just might be my hormones that caused me to overreact. I'm a first time mom, but wouldn't most mothers be upset if they found what I did? So that is a thing. Skin to skin contact is very important with the baby. And she's you know, right on all this thing. It does, it does comfort the baby. It's important for bonding with the baby for the, the, the father and the mother. It does help boost the mother's milk supply apparently. So mother-in-law does it without asking. Wife, mom loses it. Husband caught in the middle. That's who I feel most sorry for. <laughs> no, I don't. Because he's getting mad at the wife. Say he's mad at it. Says he he's tried to play hurt. My, no, he said no. It doesn't say he's mad. Just says then it, he thought it might be my emotions causing me to overreact. Well, to be mad. He was say, "Are you sure? You maybe you're overreacting a little bit." And there's a difference with having a problem with it and telling her not to do it, and then to just have a fit screaming at her. Yeah, you know, agreed. You know that may be what he meant with the hormones, meaning like that screaming like that. You're a, a weenie. I'm sorry. That, <laughs> that there's no way that he's going to take the mother's side when he walks in. Well, he didn't take her side. Yeah. He just said that maybe that overreaction was due to the yeah. hormones. I don't believe in any of that stuff anyway. They don't know that that skin to skin does all those things. Who? What do you mean? Who doesn't know? The, I, I, the baby can't talk. Can't say, yeah, I like it when my mom puts me skin to skin, but not as much as when my dad puts me hairy chest to skin. <laughs> I like hair to skin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, this is posted <laughs> on our social media if you want to uh, weigh in. Um, people are weighing in already. Most of them moms. Mm. And they don't seem to be pleased with the mother-in-law's action so yeah. far. No, wait, but where's so her weird. mama? Yeah. Her mama ought to be the one there. Not, ha not his poor mom. I don't know. Maybe her mom's not around. Hmm. Well, she might have passed. I have no idea. So they could fight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you put that baby down. And so at the Ace TJ show, <laughs> we will get your answers and see how this turns out. Uh, coming back. This is the Ace and TJ show. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't gonna treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were gonna be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never weren't once were they pushy with 
trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not a hundred percent, you know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor, get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So every Tuesday this time, we do group therapy. Today, it's mom versus mother-in-law, husband caught in the middle. And if you missed it, essentially, here's what happened. Uh, Mother-in-law has been staying, helping with the new baby, firstborn for these parents, her first grandchild. And she came in yesterday to find out, or the other day, to find out that the the mom, while she was taking it, while the mom was taking a nap, the mother in law was under a blanket doing skin to skin contact with the baby. And as mom put it, I lost it. I was so loud, I made the baby cry. But I was so angry, I took the baby and told her she was never to do that again. So mother in law gets upset, tells the son, uh, her husband, the husband. The husband tried to play like, quote, he tried to play like he understood my emotions, but then thought it was just might be my hormones that caused me to overreact. I'm a first time mom, but wouldn't most mothers be upset if they found out what I did? Not to throw a fit when the mom's his yeah. mom's there helping you. And I and I, I agree with something you said a minute ago, TJ. It doesn't necessarily say that he didn't defend his mom. Mm-hmm. All he uh, said was like, hey, maybe yeah. you're not wrong. But maybe the, the screaming and crying and yelling was a bit much. No, she should have pepper sprayed him. That was the most inappropriate reaction to something like that. You walk in and your mother-in-law is naked with the baby and naked. And he's like, maybe you're overreacting because of your hormones. She should have decked him. She should have decked him clean. No. What are you talking about? But what if you should have no, shot she him? She could have easily yeah. said, because the mother-in-law is there helping her. Yeah. She could have easily you know, said, hey, hey, um, mother-in-law, please don't do that. Yeah. Let let yeah. us handle the skin to skin. I mean, yeah, maybe maybe she did. Instead of jumping up and down and screaming but and you know yelling what? and making it's, the baby cry, mother in law helping is going to the grocery store. It's not ripping your shirt no, off. But, and no, mother in law helping baby. with a new baby is a lot of stuff. But what what, what I'm saying is yeah. a lot different than getting naked with but a baby. What were her intentions? Her Who intention knows? was to be helpful. Her intention was to offer something helpful to the child that oh, is important to the child. It may I'm be weird, helping. but her, it may be weird. Mm. But she didn't. She had no ill intent. So screaming at her is not the a correct. Would it have response. been different yeah. if the mother in law was breastfeeding the baby? Well, yeah. Would you would we, you get yeah, upset but about that? The mother in law couldn't have. Yeah. Breastfeed okay. Regardless, trying. if she was trying to breastfeed it. Well, uh, yeah, you'd be upset. But that's like a different scenario. That's a, that's not logical. They all sound like a bunch of libs yeah. to me. So, well, overwhelmingly, she she thing. overwhelmingly, everybody <laughs> who's weighed in is female and says way too far. Shelly, a very appropriate reaction to a very bizarre and inappropriate thing the mother in law did. All caps. Wow. Just wow. I don't bet they, I bet they wouldn't have done that and reacted the same way if it had been their mom. Probably not. They would have no, shown, shown their mama's more respect. And, uh, and giving her a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. Sarah said, I'm a labor and delivery nurse and understand the importance of skin to skin with the mother and, and in her absence or for the newborn bonding, the father, the grandma, holy heck no. She completely overstepped her role. You have every right to be upset by this. It's weird. Nobody it says she doesn't have a right to be upset. That's right. Just, just learn how to act. Don't freak out. And again, you wouldn't do that if it were your mama. But it's because his mama, and you don't like your mother-in-law to begin with, that's why you yeah. freak out on her. It was a, it was just an excuse to be able to freak out on her that badly. <laughs> it, it may be. It could be that. Because, but overwhelmingly, there's no, it's 100% of people say no. A, uh, you were fine to do it, yeah. and B, not an overreaction at yeah. all. Yeah, well, they're crazy. She didn't, she didn't go far enough. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato companies. You like that, don't you? Well, yeah. it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. 
So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move it. You can, if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different, it's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. We're going to talk about the eclipse, but don't cut it off because you're going to love this. I know people are sick of hearing about the eclipse yesterday and everything, but this, this you're going to love. Because there's a guy that's going viral. Has anybody else seen the weatherman from Jackson, Mississippi? Mm -mm. Oh, his name is uh, David Hartman, and he is the chief meteorologist for WAPT TV in Jackson, Mississippi. However, he was in Dallas to cover uh, the, the 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 eclipse live. So I guess Jackson wasn't in the path of totality. So they sent him from from Jackson to Dallas just so he could do it live on the air and cover the mm -hmm. whole thing. Um, and he is going viral <laughs> because, you know, th this is what he does. Whether the sun, blah, 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 whatever, that's his thing. It's probably his passion in life. That's what makes him a great meteorologist. If he is a great one, I don't know. Well, all the greats are from Jackson, Mississippi. Well, <laughs> everybody's got to start somewhere. <laughs> so, here he is uh, describing it live on TV yesterday in Jackson. Well, again, it, describing it to his audience in Jackson, even though he was in Dallas. Well, we are almost to totality here. The skies have cleared off. I'm going to get emotional. This is just unbelievable. And we're just about to totality here in the next minute. We're looking for the diamond ring. Wow. Here we go. It's just about to go total. Look for the... Look for the diamond ring. Oh my God. Oh my God. There it is. That's the diamond ring right there. Look at the diamond ring. Spectacular. Oh, look, there, there's a small cloud and you see a halo. Look at that. If the diamond ring is still, you can still see the diamond ring. Unbelievable. And there it is. You're looking at the corona of the sun. That's the sun's atmosphere. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's excited. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's a diamond ring. That's He's cool, just yeah. excited. Yeah. You can see the diamond ring. But it's you funny. See the diamond ring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want him to sound like that. A, a weatherman from, uh, you know, covering the eclipse. You want him to be freaking out. Because that's his thing. Yeah. yeah. It's proof I, that everybody's got their thing and you get excited yeah, about yeah. it. And it's funny to other people <laughs> except for you. Yeah. It's. It's funny, but I think it's cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I would agree with that. It's cool that he's so passionate and so excited about what it is that he does. Got him out of Jackson for a day. Right, yeah, he right. has to go to Dallas. For this. <laughs> and it's wholesome. He sounds wholesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, a, he's a good person. He's a mm -hmm. nice person. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. Uh, everything you need to know, plus more Eclipse news we'll find out in Now Trending. This is the Ace and TJ Show. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good? Or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good? Or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate. And years of research. We've decided great furniture. Is good fitting. And good sitting. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just $279. In stock and ready to rock only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. 
Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. If it's trending, it's here now. now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. Uh, Eclipse 2024 is the top trending topic at the moment. Millions of posts about... It's hard mm-hmm. to believe it's still the, the top trending topic. I know. Well, well, this is all the follow-ups, too, of um, what to do if you looked into it. Do your eyes hurt? And we're talking about how many times that was Googled yesterday. My eyes yeah. hurt. <laughs> they said it was at 3.20 yesterday afternoon, Eastern mm-hmm. Time, that that was the number one Google search with people that, that or why do my eyes hurt? So because you're a <laughs> moron, that's why. Staring up at the eclipse. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, so I think the majority of the posts today are people are just reacting to it. I saw a lot of people on TikTok just roasting the eclipse, roasting the sun, just saying, that wasn't <laughs> worth it. I walked all the way out here from Brooklyn. <laughs> I give the eclipse like two out of five. But yeah. I mean, if people don't, if you don't know what to expect or, or know how it works, it, if you hear eclipse and you think, oh, the whole country is going to go dark. Well, that's not yeah. how it works. Well, how do you not know how it works if you're an adult in America? I think a lot of people don't look it up. They don't bother to look it up. They just hear, oh, there's an eclipse today, and it's going to be a solar eclipse, and it's going to go totally dark. That's what they assume. They don't know about the path of totality and all that stuff. Well, I mean, I mean you, you, I'm not a big reader myself. I'm not a big researcher, but <laughs> I know. you pay attention to, to what people say. I am not um, disagreeing with you, TJ. It's <laughs> surprising. I just don't know. I don't know either. I'm just saying, I think that's what happens. Yeah, it I sucks. So. I want my money back. Yeah. I'm going to give the eclipse a two out of five. Well, it depends I, on where you live. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. funny. I like yeah. people rating the eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite was the guy that said, oh, I black out on a Monday. Everybody freaks yeah, out. But yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> um, Billy D. Williams is trending this morning. This is a weird one. He was on Bill Maher's podcast and said actors should be allowed to do blackface. And Bill Maher was shocked by that. And Billy D. Williams said, well, I think if you're an actor, you should be able to do anything. Yeah. And Bill Maher was like, okay, well, if somebody actually, a white person do, or anybody does blackface, the, the movie set will get bombed. And Billy D. Williams was like, yeah, I mean, I said what I said. Actors should be allowed to do anything. So it was kind of a weird conversation. Yeah. So now yeah, they should be able to do what they do. Yeah. He's still still looking yeah, good. I mean, I he's... say that because I'm Billy D. Williams. <laughs> if you don't know, Billy D. Williams is a huge <laughs> uh, uh Star in the seventies. Yeah, he's like a seventies or early eighties. Yeah, and now and then he did Star Wars. Kind of, kind of came into his own as that and, as well. Yeah, yeah lady sings star, the big blues. Actor. You want my arm to fall off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't often hear people saying, "Yeah, people should be allowed to do blackface." So Billy D. Williams <laughs> but his, does. Yeah, but his point is like what a lot of actors say. It's your actors are acting, right? They, you know, they're it's the job. Yeah, part Man. of the game. I imitated somebody from the Blue Man Group one time, and I thought they were going to kill me. Yeah. The Blue Man Group. Got to be careful. I can't do blue face, obviously. <laughs> if I'm not a percussionist. My dad loves the Blue Man Group. I do, too. He thought it I was love great. Him. I love him. He still talks about that. <laughs> uh, UConn is uh, trending right below the eclipse. Uh, they are the national champions, NCAA basketball champions, after defeating Purdue last night in a late game. And those are just a few things that are now trending. So something happened yesterday on social media and got people all all in a buzz uh, and not in a good way. I'll tell you what it is coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table & Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking to Table & Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. Each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. 
so this is what happens when you go up against the man. I think a woman on TikTok says she opened her Alani. Is that how you say that? Yeah. Alani. Uh, Alani new. Alani. Uh, energy drink. She found a whole rat in there. Ugh. Yeah. And uh, now she's been shadow banned by TikTok, and a lot of people are saying that's the power Alani has now over the social media platform. <clears throat> Do they have a lot of power, Alani? Who are they owned by? That's what I would. I don't know. know. This is one. This is one of their flavors. This oh, is, that's one. Yeah, Alani new. Yeah, this is what my wife buys now. Her favorite energy drink. This woman found a rat in her. She says yeah, allegedly. That's what, that may allegedly. be what it is that they say. Well, that's not been proven. Yeah, it's just I guess her claims. Yeah. Whatever. So there was no rat in yours. I never had been a rat in mine. Does she look like an energy drink person? Good question, TJ. What does an, an energy, energy drink, drink person, person look, look like? like? <laughs> I don't know. I'm asking you as the authority, Riggins. You're the one that always talks about people who who drink monsters and all of that. <laughs> Let me ask you this: I, Do I look like an energy drink person? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. What about what? What I, does that mean? I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> Okay. Well, no, I don't know what that means. I, what I know, the the thing about the energy drinks, I always see them littered on the street. Mm -hmm. And I always think, you know what? The person that drinks energy drinks is probably a litterer, mm -hmm. a litter bug. Yeah. Ace looks like a litter bug and a fire bug. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Does Rob look like an energy drink person? Yes. Okay. What? Gamer. I, I stopped. Huh? I uh, stopped. Let me alone. But yeah, like a week ago. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> like C4s up yeah. until uh, March. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if Santa Claus all of a sudden started wearing coveralls, he'd still look like Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good point. <laughs> you can dress it up any way you want, but... <laughs> and uh, also, Ace is well hydrated this morning because he's brought in about a, a two-gallon water bottle. It's no bigger than my normal water bottle. I mean, it's, a, it's two liters. I don't know. It's so annoying. To be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know. Your choices of food and drink just annoy the hell out well, of me. Well, my I wife, can't <laughs> this, is, uh, this is, it's a quart. It's just a quart. It's a big quart. Well, 1.17 quart. Yeah, my, my wife buys it. She buys the, uh, this, what she buys at the store, and I just yeah. go, okay, thanks. And you can you can lay it flat in the refrigerator. It's got one flat side. Yeah, but it doesn't fit in any cup holder of any sort in mm -hmm. the car, so it's kind yeah. of annoying. It's a goofy. Oh, yeah, it's annoying. I can't. I'm not getting paid for this. I don't know why I'm showing it to the camera. I don't know. You should. <laughs> but we were talking about. I think it was on TJ's podcast that like nobody's parents used to drink water. Yeah. And that's a conversation that happens all yeah. the time now. Like you don't remember your parents drinking water. They were drinking tea or milk or coffee. Or coffee. coffee. Yeah. My mom drank drink coffee all day long. It seemed like. Now everybody's super hydrated on a bunch of water. I don't but get it. Say, but I remember my mom would say, like, you need put that back. You just get some water. She was always telling me to drink water. Yeah, yeah. Water or, or milk. If you came in, like, I'm going to get a Coke or a tea or something. Like, no, you, you're fine. Get some water. You don't need to, you know, get that sugar stuff. Yeah. If my parents ever said that, it's just because you're going to drink up all the tea before dinner. <laughs> 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 I don't feel like making a new jug. Yeah. That actually makes sense. <laughs> um, so something really ugly got way out of control, and it was beyond my uh, powers on social media. I, I wasn't able to control the anger last night, and I'll tell you what it is uh, coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Richard Takato with the Richard Takato Companies is here. And Richard, how can people save money every month when they're dealing with you in a refi? By paying off high interest rate credit cards. You know, sometimes it's better to have one payment than it is to have eight, nine, 10, 12 payments. So refinancing that first mortgage and getting all that cash out to pay off all your credit card makes a lot of sense. It makes life much easier. Go to homewithrichard.com to start the process. A lot of options with Richard Chicago. Don't miss this opportunity. Homewithrichard.com. Today, every company is a technology company, but becoming a fully enabled digital workplace is not easy. That's why you have CompuCom to guide you. A proven leader in managed IT services. They'll do more than just get you ready for today. They'll get you ready for tomorrow. Go to CompuCom.com for details. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Don't forget, if you haven't purchased your Ace and TJ hot sauces, go over to acetj.com slash store and pick them up. We got five to choose from, or you can just get them all in a box. They're all delicious. I was crushing them through spring break. I'm I'm running low. I might need to re-up soon. But if you haven't gotten yours, really good. AceTJ.com slash store. So something happened yesterday uh, on TJ's podcast, which streams every day 
at 10 a.m. Eastern uh, on the Ace and TJ Family app, and you can download it later on podcast platforms. But uh, he was talking about, uh, did you see a dog in a restaurant or something like no, that? No, I remember that, I was at a place in Charleston. That's right. It was like a beer garden type place, and the guy's dog basically accosted me. Well, came up between my legs at the picnic table, sticking his head up in there, and the guy didn't control him. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, dogs will approach you, and they got in TJ's space. But there were a lot of dogs there. It wasn't a dog bar, right. but there were plenty of dogs there. Mm -hmm. So TJ goes on this, not, I wouldn't call it a rant. He was just saying, I think people bring their animals, specifically dogs, to restaurant patios and bars because they want attention for themselves. Yeah. And the internet did not appreciate that. <laughs> I knew they wouldn't. I knew they wouldn't. <laughs> But I mean, I, it's not that if you take your dogs out walked for a walk or you take them into the park or whatever, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you can't go to a restaurant without loading up your dog and saying, let's let's take Fluffy with us. And then you got to take the dog and then the dog gets all up in everybody else's face. It, there was a story that I covered on my political show one time where a guy was mad because they wouldn't let him fly with his dog. He was trying to go to a funeral of a loved one. And he was complaining they wouldn't let his dog fly. And he had to call his brother-in-law to come get the dog at the airport and watch it for a few days. And I said, well, if you got somebody to watch your dog, why are you trying to take a dog to a funeral anyway? And it's, I, I deduced it's because of that. He wanted, he couldn't even give the dearly departed all the attention. He had to take his dog in there. Oh, your dog is so cute. <laughs> well, uh, Sue <laughs> said, I totally, I posted this video of TJ talking about this on social media last night. Sue said, totally disagree. Dogs need the social socialization and interaction because leaving them home where they belong is cruel. Uh, some dogs are home get alone all day for hours while their owners are at work. So yes, they should get to go too. No, they, so, should. Well, they, sh they can. I'm not saying they should. I'm just saying why they go. Yeah. And I'm, whatever you say is not going to change my mind on this. Uh, well, it is for you. See, you you get attention out of that. Okay. You're just, just, it's not cruel to leave your dog at home. You're saying everybody leaves their dog at home and they go out to eat dinner is cruel? Uh, Sue said that, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but your friend, little friend Jenny yeah. said, uh, tell uh, Ruger and Lex mm -hmm. that they can't come to the bar with us next time we were on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> they Let don't. me know how it works. They don't. They don't come to the bar? No, and I use her as an example. She loves those dogs and treats them like royalty. But they don't go everywhere we go. Rarely does she take them to a patio or something like that. Yeah. Okay, I mean, so maybe she was just being t a little tongue-in-cheek there. I don't know. She's just picking on me. This says uh, TJ has a black heart, but I just wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not appearing yet. It hasn't shown up yet, but it'll yeah. be like, refresh. Yeah. It'll show up. People don't like when other people hold a mirror in front of them. It's what it is. The Tim Tebow effect. <laughs> I, might ha I might have made the scoop on Rob. I'll tell you what it is next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not a hundred percent, you know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor, get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to BradhamBrothers.com. Go 
Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it. Now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So I feel like I may have scooped one tech D Rob, so I'll be really impressed if that is the case. We'll find out in just a second. But uh, the FCC dealt with a lot of complaints about the Super Bowl, but it had nothing to do with like, you know, obviously Janet Jackson taking her top off or Justin Timberlake ripping J- Janet Jackson's top off. It's nothing like that. A lot of complaints. Most of the complaints were about a pro-Israel ad that aired during the Super Bowl, which I happened to miss. Um, most of the complaints were revolving around that. This did, year? Yeah. Why did they mm-hmm. complain to the FCC? I, I don't know. Like saying the government should stop this type of ad? I'm assuming so. Oh, shut up. The ad was about bringing bring home uh, ho- the hostages that are held by Hamas. So I don't mm-hmm. yeah I don't know, uh, but people were very upset about it. CBS violated FCC rules by not properly disclosing to viewers on all platforms that ads aired during the Super Bowl were paid for by the Israeli government. Is what one said. Get out of here. So I didn't even know you had to do mm-hmm. that. I guess yeah, so. I that know. that actually probably does make yeah. sense. If you're if you have an ad being purchased by a foreign government, would you wouldn't you want to know? I didn't think about that. No. That's probably good to know. Regardless mm-hmm. of the of the topic. I don't care. Because I know all these things. Yeah, I mean if you're for I'm a well informed citizen. <laughs> 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 and I'm all for that ad. Yeah, you're you're pro Israel. I'm pro, so. pro, pro Israel, yes. Yeah. But uh, over ten thousand people filed complaints about that. So um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that they do anything. I don't. I highly doubt they're going to find CBS. Uh, it does say. Mm. That I just one click here says the, they're required to disclose uh, foreign government sponsored programming. Well, you see TikTok ads or commercials on TV all day, and and not once do they ever say like this is owned by a Chinese company, but. All companies in China are, are, own, are run by the Chinese government, right? They're under yeah, the thumb much, of the. Yeah. So how? I mean, how do you skirt the rules on that? Which, I don't, I don't know. know. It's a different. It different. depends on the topic. It does because mm. they it really they, does. That's right. Those commercials want you to believe TikTok is the greatest thing ever. They are doing some damage control for sure. Um, so Rob, I don't know if I got the scoop on you or not, but one of Tech D Rob's favorite things in the world is going to McDonald's <clears> and getting the steak, egg, and cheese bagel. I had one for breakfast yesterday. Oh, it's back. Oh, I didn't scoop you. You knew they were back, and you didn't tell anybody. I didn't think anybody else wanted them. I didn't think so either. I'm like, who the hell wants a bagel? <laughs> I love them, but I used to like them because they were soft. Yeah. That's the, they, I still my complaint had about bagels is they're too hard and chewy. Messes up my TMJ. Is it better than a, a sausage and egg McMuffin? Oh, for for me, yeah. No. But, no. Really? No. I don't like a McMuffin personally. So. Mm. <laughs> Another another wild uh, statement from Tech D Rob. You don't like the McMuffin. It's okay. Hmm. Okay, so you had one yesterday. Was it as good as you remember? It was better. It was better. Okay. Is, do you do anything to it? Anything special? I just get no uh, no onions because it's, it's like those slimy onions. I'm not, yeah. I'm not into that. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good. Or grilled. <laughs> but that makes them slimy, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, everything you need to know coming up in Now Trending. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, Show me about that refi, and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me, yeah, about, that yeah, show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is what is Ace has said. We have a lot of options, and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them seven hundred dollars a month, eight hundred dollars a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month—that's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know, there, there are all kinds of people that can help you do that, but not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash Temple team. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. All right, so Billie Eilish 
the singer Billy. Everybody knows Billy. She yeah. went off on a tear about Rolling Stone leaking her track list for her upcoming <laughs> album. I think it's, it, this seems like a publicity stunt. Yeah. Like, let me yell at Rolling Stone. Uh, throw that out there. You know why I don't like her? Huh? She's just too. I mean, I'm I, I, I'm all for having a good time, but she's just pure silly all the time. <laughs> just she, Nick Saban. Yep. There are a few more people who are just silly, silly, always carrying on some kind of foolishness. What does it matter if the track list gets up? So you know the name no. of the songs. Who cares? Here's the F you. They're promoting that you have an album. Mm. <laughs> Screw you, Rolling Stone. I mean, I, I guess if it's a, a completed work that you've put together and spent a lot of time, you don't want anybody putting out anything before you're ready to do it. I can kind of. I get that. I, I can I mean, maybe understand, I understand it. I understand that, but. But it feels contrived, like th this was all put in place. But yeah. the, the new album is out May seventeenth. It's called "Hit Me Hard and Soft." I don't, I don't know what that means, but I love that song that she did for the the Barbie movie. I good thought song. that was a really good song. Mm -hmm. um, so that's out in May. Uh, today is National Unicorn Day. Are, are bronies the guys that were into My Little Pony still a thing, Rob? Uh, I think, unfortunately, so. I thought those. Were, that's what The Rock called his fans. <laughs> Those are jabronis, yeah. and that was a diss. <laughs> jabroni. <laughs> did, did the Rock call anybody a jabroni at WrestleMania? No, not that I remember. He was a little serious. This yeah, time he got up. He, he was he was on last night, and they kept having to bleep him because he was cussing a lot. Oh, oh he's say, so edgy. Yeah. He is edgy now. Yeah. yeah, he was saying a lot of f words when I was watching the the mm -hmm. clips. On bad guy. Yeah, bad dude. The final boss. Yeah. So uh, WrestleMania is still trending this morning. People are discussing. Uh, the wrestling event that happened over the weekend. Um, and yeah, so bronies are still happy National Unicorn Day if you are one to celebrate, if you observe the holiday. Uh, and then Kellogg's has teamed up with Crocs for some limited edition new footwear. One is a Tony the Tiger, and one is a Toucan Sam version of the slip-on. So here's what it looks like. I think these are actually kind of fire. Check that out. <laughs> they are pretty cool. Good luck yeah. getting your hands on those. Yep. So those are a few things that are now trending. So... It's not just cutting out energy drinks and getting exercise the way that Tech D. Rob is improving himself. Wait until you hear where he is moving next on his body to make it healthier and better for him and the rest of us. Coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at Sweet Dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The Sweet Deals at Sweet Dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So the Tech D Rob um, has uh, recently started making some changes in his life for the better, better uh, for his health and for his well-being and for his looks. So um, earlier this morning, we were talking about how he's cut out energy drinks, especially in the morning, and now he's substituted um, McDonald's sausage, egg, and cheese bagels. I got a steak, egg, and cheese to be oh, well, whatever. completely straightforward okay. with his fans. And then uh, he's uh, he's starting to get some exercise as um, uh, as he as he looks to get more healthy. And then I found out that now he's about to start wearing makeup. What what, what is about your your uh, insecure with your eyes, Rob? So it's not it's not makeup, but it's like The Rock has this new brand that's like a uh, it's like a conditioner lotion type thing that's a under eye roller. And my under my eyes is you know I've, I've always thought I had a youthful face, but I can see it <laughs> in my under eye area. What you do know, I have wait, a very wait, wait, youthful wait, wait, wait. face, but I can see under my eyes the signs of aging. Okay. Yeah. 
So it's a it's a it's just like an, a, a roller. Mm. What does it do? Is it is it something that it, actually goes it, on or that tightens the skin? Yeah, okay. it, it's a tightener and a um, and supposed to help with dark circles. There, are a bunch of those things. Okay, yeah, okay. You know, I know what you're talking about. But um, would you have ever thought of doing that if The Rock hadn't hadn't have come out with his line of cosmetics for Honestly, me? Honestly, probably not because I wouldn't even known that was a thing until I saw that he was advertising them. So then, celebrity endorsement things work. They do. Got me. So what about? Uh, Concealer? Are you going to start wearing concealer? Possibly, you know, just a, a little lip gloss and some eyeliner. No. 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 Well, you should. You might as well just go for the whole thing. Walk around those eye patches. Oh, that's too. You hard. know, those under eye patches. Just put those on at night, or when, yeah. you, when you're home well, in the afternoon playing games. I'd say wear them to work. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> it's a, this is a cooling rollerball applicator. It's different. Okay. 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 All right. It's manly. <laughs> <laughs> it's mainly because you don't have to use a you know when you put that stuff on you're supposed to use your uh, ring finger rob because that's the weakest finger and you just dab 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 it in don't don't rub it in you gotta dab it in with your your ring finger okay got it because if it's feeling wet on your face just kind of dab it oh this also has caffeine let's go there you go now you can you can lick it too <laughs> On his face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's a new way uh, for you single ladies to get the attention of uh, dreamy men, dreamy boys at the bar. We'll tell you what that is next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, Show me about that refi. Let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me yeah, about that yeah, refi. Show me about that refi. <laughs> well, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said we have a lot of options, and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them seven hundred dollars a month, eight hundred dollars a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars yeah. a month—that's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. As winter packs its bags and spring settles in, the flowers, they are blooming. And as Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress, the deals are booming. You write poetry? Does one ask a fish if it swims or a bird if it flies? It was a long winter. Love where you live, Lake Norman, with up to $1,500 in free furniture with the purchase of a mattress sleep system. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Da, 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 uh, I saw an article in the New York Post. It was a 25-year-old uh, young lady who... Um, says that it's awkward to go and start small talking with a guy that you think is uh, adorable at a bar. So she and her friends went and had these stamps made, these ink stamp things, and they would just walk up to a guy and uh, say, can I have your hand? And he says, for what? And they stick it out there and she stamps them. And it says, Something along the lines of, hi, uh, if you'd like to talk sometime, here's my Instagram and, and whatnot. But he now has this stuck yeah. on his Yeah, and hand. or it says if you're single or if you're looking to date, you know, or you're not, you're not attached, then, you know, hit me up, basically. Yeah, I would be, I don't care how, how hot she is or how single I may, may be, I don't want a stamp on my hand. I, 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 yeah. I wouldn't like that. I went to see a band the other night. Two days to get that off my hand. Hmm. It's a, that would be super yeah. annoying. Plus, what if he's, maybe he likes her, but he wants to go talk to some other girl, and she looks down, and she's like, he's, she's got the girl's stamp or on his hand. Or if he gets home to his wife... <laughs> and he's got some girl's info on his on his hand. It's gonna be tough yeah. to explain. You're right. Good mm -hmm. point. Um, 
But I think at a certain age, there should never be an instance where you would get a hand stamp like that. Yeah. Yeah, I was surprised because I hadn't had a hand stamp mm. in a long time. And it threw me that I was like, I got to get a hand stamp. Yeah. I just said, hey, look, I swear I'm not leaving. Yeah. I'm trying to come back. If I, I mean, yeah, if I leave, I'm not coming back. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it's late. It's going to be too late. Yeah. Well, and, uh, but even those freedom, that they little. say you can only see under the black light. I'm, again, I'm like, okay, what age do you, are you? Should you never be around a black light again? <laughs> oh no, it's black light's still pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> black lights, disco balls. Some things just always gonna be cool under certain circumstances, you know. <laughs> I look at that all the time. I go, wait a minute, I'm too old for this. <laughs> You know, you might as well just say I'm going to stay the week on an air mattress in somebody's house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, you're going to stamp me. All right, go ahead and go ahead and put me on sleeping on an ironing board while you're at it. That'll be just fine. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, They were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. You know, I got a little bit of a dilemma coming up. Well, it's actually here upon me now. Anyway, I might as well just tell you. Uh, Tomorrow is my wife's birthday. And um, every year, I get upstaged pretty much by all of her friends. You know, because, you know, her birthday is a Wednesday, right? I work work very early in the morning. Mm -hmm. But... All of her different friend groups, you know, they can stay out late on weeknights. A lot of them don't don't even have a job. Right. They're unemployed. Um, so it's almost like every night this week, they're taking some group of friends or this friend, or that friend is taking her to a fancy restaurant for her birthday, giving her gifts. You know what I'm doing? I'm trying to figure out a way how I can uh, how I can bake a cake without her knowing about it. <laughs> that's all i'm like the kid at it's trying to make something for his mom you know at yeah. school you know making the flower pot with yeah. you know that i've drawn a picture of but you got to find a way to get some supplies without her knowing that you're getting yeah, or, or you can't ask just, her to take you to the store or whatever <laughs> or just yeah be able to just do it in the yeah. house without her her knowing yeah because you know how much cakes cost now they're crazy expensive for getting a good cake yeah um, why does it have to be a surprise? Can't you just make yeah, the cake? Just, yeah, but it takes you know, a little bit out of it. I get it. You Is know. it a special cake? Like a... What do you mean? Like a special flavor, like a carrot oh. cake or something? She likes red velvet, just like every other woman in the world. Oh, red velvet's so good. You know, when, um, when, <laughs> when a man uh, transitions to a woman, yeah. 
He has to like red velvet cake once he changes it. They won't let you be a woman and not like red velvet cake. I didn't realize that's one of the requirements mm-hmm. on the checklist. Yeah, that's before the first hormone treatment. Yeah. I mean, they're like, are you going to be willing to start liking red velvet cake? <laughs> if you say no, they, they'll they just kick you right out of the doctor's office. Hmm. They're like, no can do. So how, I, how are you on mint chocolate chip ice cream? Mm. That. You don't like that, and you don't like red velvet cake, you really don't want to be a woman. You need to reevaluate what's yeah. going on in your life. You gotta want it. So. Yeah. You you don't want it badly. Enough. This is the Ace and TJ show. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh the Richard Takato companies. You like that, don't you? Yeah. Well, it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> 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 So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move it. You can, if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different, it's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard, barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies.